So today I'd like to discuss a question that's been going around, which is, could South African hemp cultivation exclude CBD? And what I mean by that? Well, essentially, there's just two options. Hemp cultivation permits and licenses will exclude the processing of CBD for Schedule Zero products that are over the counter that go into Clicks and Discam. Now, what does that mean for industry? Well, essentially, what it means is clear. U.S. imported CBD isolate and distillate products that are derived of dietary supplement grade will become the norm in the country. Um, you, and it's the end of the discussion because you cannot actually have highly regulated SAPRA 22C 1B licenses compete with outdoor grown hemp. Um, and that will basically mean that hemp cultivation in the country will be in focus on hempcrete, fibers, textiles, ropes, plastics, and all ancillary hemp products, excluding CBD. Um, to be competitive in the CBD space, uh, making use of the 22C licenses, the only recourse for government is to introduce some form of local protectionism and to also apply taxation on imports of isolate, distillate, and CBD-based products. Uh, this is not globally competitive, but it is a potential strategy. Um, neighboring countries like Zimbabwe and Malawi will probably benefit most because of a more relaxed view on hemp processing. Option two is that hemp cultivation permits licenses will include the processing of CBD to schedule zero over-the-counter products. Uh, what that means for industry, well, you can now use our fantastic sunlight, you can use our good labor costs and cultivate hemp for the purposes of CB CBD extraction. Um, now, there's going to be clear risks with that. Um, the risks are obvious. It's going to be quality assurance. So looking at pesticides, heavy metals, aflatoxin testing, as well as uh, assessing whether or not you can be running hot hemp. Um, we will need processing and testing hubs to be a key player in the quality assurance process. Um, it's going to require effort, it's going to require enforcement, but South Africa will ultimately be able to produce its own CBD isolate and distillate products that will be able to go into Schedule Zero over-the-counter CBD products and promote that we have products locally that are South African produced and sourced. Um, they will still need to go for GMP processing, but good manufacturing pr products here or production here will have to be under dietary supplement grade alignment to be competitive with the standards from the US and not pharmaceutical grade. So now if you found this useful and um, you have contacts and fellow colleagues that are in the hemp and cannabis industry or even in the CBD wellness space, um, I encourage you to share this because we need to lobby to make sure that any decision that's made regarding hemp and CBD's inclusion or exclusion what are the what are the ripple effects of that?